Hey, good people. Karanja James again, your person. It's been a good uh, it's been a very good day. Very good week. Very good year. That you should learn learning. Actually life is a uh, continuous learning. If you stopped learning the moment you finished school, you are bound to fail. Life is a gradual, it's a continuous learning process. Actually, we say life is a university without walls. I should say you should be uh, school smart, but also you should be street smart. Be book smart, street smart, and internet smart. Nowadays, you don't have to go to college. You don't have to go to university. There is a university. There are two universities that I know that are free. That will cost you nothing. One is the University of Life. Life is a very good university. It's a university without walls. It's a free school. It's a free university. Number two, there is a university of YouTube. University of YouTube, University of Videos. I'm a product of both. So make sure you subscribe to those universities. You don't need a degree to be good in life. You don't need a degree to be successful in life. So make sure you are part of those schools, University of YouTube and University of Life. So this video, the reason for doing this video, there is something that you need to learn before you do anything. <clears throat> Things that you need to learn before you need to do anything. Number one, you should know how to make sales. You should know how to sell. Everything is a sale. Everything that you have right now, you bought it from someone. That someone got some money out of it. So if something was sold to you, you should also know how to sell so that you can make money. Because money is very important. Money is very important. You should know how to make money. Number two, you should know how to negotiate, uh, to persuade people. Know how to persuade, know how to 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 to, to, to know how people I'm a what a person need. Persuade. Actually, if you buy something from a hawker or from street vendors, they know how to persuade you. They know how to negotiate. They know how to, to make you to make sure that you get that money out of the pocket. So you should know how to persuade people. Actually, I usually say, if it's a good thing, force that person to buy. If it, you know what's going to, to change the, his life, you should persuade the person. For me, I'm going to persuade you to watch this because this video is going to change your life, you know? Yeah, so if it's a good thing, I'll force you to buy it. So make sure you're able to persuade people. Number three, you should be able to read people. You should be able to read people at very at stage of your conversation even when you're making a call when you're calling someone you should be able to persuade you should be able to read a person does he money is he trying to evade your sale is he trying to say that he has bought from everyone apart from you is it he or she trying to say that i got no money for today but i have money for other things so you should be able to persuade make a sale persuade and read people those are very important things number four you should be able to do is to live on leverage Leverage, leverage, leverage. Leverage, the word leverage comes from the word levels. You know? Level. When Egyptians were building the, the, the pyramid, they used to use levels, pulleys. So you are here, you can put little effort, but the effort on the other side that you are carrying is huge. So if you are able to use leverage, you, for you to, to make sure you get more with less. Leverage get more with less so if you want to get more today with less you should use social medias but you're going to make sure that you're going to give money you're going to advertise it's either you make leverage or use of the youtube tools that are available or you go one-on-one -on -one, which is not very much effective and actually business is about numbers so you you should look for a business that is more productive that's more helping people but you're going to use little effort and get more 
So if you want to make sure that you use leverage, you should be able to use marketing skills. Make sure you market the biggest brand in the world, Coca-Cola. They still do their branding in East and Central Africa. Safaricom is one of the best brands that's known all over. They still, they still do their marketing day in, day out. iPhone, the best phone makers, they still do their marketing. Google, they still make uh, do their marketing day in, day out. So when you're starting, you should be able to do marketing and make sure you're getting to reach more people than other people. Number five, you should be able to know how to recruit, how to get a good person to work with. I actually say uh, to those people that I teach that if you're employed and you think you're working for your boss, you are wrong. You don't work for anyone. You work for yourself. You don't work for anyone. You work for yourself. Even if someone pays your, uh, pays your check, gives you money after something that you have done, Make sure you know that you don't work for anyone apart from yourself. So when you're recruiting, you cannot recruit a very good person. Good people are found. Good people are found. You cannot make a good person. You can say, I'm going to clean on this person until I make him successful. It doesn't happen and it won't happen. Good people are found good. You need a little push for a good person. So... When you are recruiting, you should recruit good people. Know very fast by reading skills that this person is a good person, that he doesn't need a lot of pushing. He doesn't need a, a lot of pushing. And actually, the best person to employ, the best person to give a task is a person who has failed elsewhere. And you know the reason why he has failed. A person who has failed is more better than a person who is new. Actually, if you get a green uh, a person, that has never been that field. You're going to coach him for more than five months before he gets his new things well done. One of the things you should get someone who is, apart from when you're recruiting, you should also get someone who needs, it's not someone who, it's someone who's in need of a job, not because he looks smart or whatever. You should know that a person is in need. Yeah. Number six is you should know how to manage energy you should be able to manage energy because you're going to find people who have different energies they are good people they are bad people so you should be able to balance good and bad in this world we are living today day and night live correspondingly there's day and night they, they give respect to each other they are good people and bad people but you have to live together that's how the world works they are tall people and they are short people. How, that's how the world works. You should be able to manage. There is good people, bad people, tall people, short people, dark people, right people. You should be able to manage people. How to manage everything? The other thing is you should be able to manage time. Uh, 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 time. Time is the worst essential thing that I've ever come across. If you waste time, it's done. It's done. It's gone. It's gone. If you burn time, it's gone. Actually, very many people I find uh, lamenting, I'm uh, saying that their regrets is because they wasted their time. Don't waste your time. The rich and the poor out of us have 24 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours. You know? So, time. Time, 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 time. I don't know how many people can press, uh, can stay on time and make the best of it you all have 24 hours you should be able to become uh you should say workaholic you should work 16 hours if you can work 16 hours work 12 hours if you want to be good in the next stage so make sure you you are a very good timer wake up at it sleep late avoid wasting time the other thing you should be able to manage issues manage issues People have different issues. If you're working with people, you yourself watching this video, you have your own issues. You have your parents, you have your rent issues, you have everything that you, you need to pay. Very many expenses. Issues, issues. Issues starts from diseases, uh, other people's issues, hatred, uh, working environment, very good working environment, all those things that you should be able to do them. You should manage issues wherever you find them. 
Find a bad thing, make it good. The other thing you should be able to manage money, 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 money. You should be able to manage this thing. You should be able to manage this thing. Man, if you don't manage money, actually managing money is also investing and about saving. Make sure you do saving for in the day. Make sure you buy an umbrella when it's not raining because it's going to assist you when it's raining. Make sure you 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 do your work very good when you are doing an investment. Investment, investment is like. Actually, when you are doing investments, you should think like a farmer. A farmer who gets a seed, he plants the seed, he plants the seeds, he takes time, takes care of this crop, and make sure you harvest. The harvest is always greater. So make sure you invest your money. Invest your money. Actually, the best place to invest your money, it's tedious, but it's very lucrative. It's real estate. And that's why for me, I'm in real estate, not better. Real estate, sell land, buy land, invest in land, buy rentals. Make sure it's something to do with real estate. Real estate is among the best place to be for it to take care of when you get old, when you cannot see, when you take care of your generation. The other thing is you have to be aggressive. Aggressive. It said that nature must take out the old to make a way for the living i'm the new so nature if you're not aggressive actually in these economic times we are living nature is going to take you out actually nowadays starting a business is very hard if actually i should say nature is like a river it flows for everyone you know it flows for everyone so if you're strong enough you should be able to hold on something that's going to make you go to the next level and that's something usually your goals what do you want to achieve what do you want to deliver so make sure you are able to be aggressive you have to have the intensity the goals the goals that you they, they are killing you that they, they're making you to have sleepless night those goals they should be the reason why i say this is because you should be aggressive a lion it's not the tallest in the jungle. It's not the biggest. That's the lion. It's not anything. But the lion is aggressive. It's aggressive. It's not the fastest even. The cheetah is the fastest. But the lion has the mindset and it has the goal. When it sees a hippo, it sees food. It sees meat. It sees lunch. And from that intensity, it becomes aggressive and it's able to counter and kill a hippo, a giraffe, and even a cheetah, you know. The other thing you should be able to learn, make sure you learn, make sure you learn. And when you are learning, you should be able to work in a group. Learning, learning, don't, don't ever stop learning and be a group person. So when you are alone, you can achieve less. But when you are in a group, actually it says that if you want to go far, walk around but if you want to go farthest you should work with that group so you you should be able to be able to delegate and that's why your leaders leadership skills are tested you should be able to delegate uh, issues um, you should be able to give people tasks to do that adds up to the main goal so you should be a very good team leader you should be able not a boss, a team leader. When you're pushing the other side, another person is pushing on the other side, and you're going to go into the future and achieve your goals together. So those are things that you should learn before you start anything. For me, it has taken me five years to be here today. Learning, writing, uh, delegating, talking to people, selling, 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 selling. Even if it's hard, you must do it hard. If it's easy, and I usually say, I'm going to leave with this quote. If it's easy, everyone would do it. If it's easy, everyone would be rich. And now because it's not easy, you know how it is. Eh? It's tough. It needs toughness. So, thank you for your time. See you in the next video.